Oh, is that a, an upgrade kit? An upgrade kit sounds good to me. Like with most games, especially a long game like this, you want to get upgraded and your experience points as quick as. Didn't we upgrade while we were fighting them? Yes, we did. Alright, so what we got is assault training. That puts it in weapon damage. Vanguard, biotics protection. Yeah, we might start sticking some in Vanguard, I believe. Warp unlocks barrier. I don't really care about barrier. Salt training, weapon damage, adrenaline bursts. Oh, actually, no, adrenaline burst is one that comes quite in handy, actually. Basically, what adrenaline burst does is if you're waiting for all your powers to recharge and you're stuck in a bit of a bind, adrenaline burst basically resets it, cools it all down. Something you need. Unlocks electronics. Caden, you basically are my resident electronic guy. I need you for all your tech skills. So, electronics is something I'll boost up in you. And Ashley, that unlocks shotguns. Yeah, why not? And let's put one in shotgun for you. Actually, no, that seems like a waste. Let's put one in shotgun just to unlock them. And... What do we want for you? First aid, I believe. Nah, sticking to shotguns, who cares? It's just Ashley Williams. Tell you what, Nihilus is really putting some footwork. Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Nihilus! Oh, two teammates down in one game. But as you saw that really slow render that happened on Nihilus' face there. You can get used to the sight of that, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that thing when it slowly rendered in on Nihilus' face, unfortunately that ha might happen quite a lot throughout this game. It's because there's a lot of data on Mass Effect and it's spaced only on one disc. Because because I'm playing on console, it's unfortunately only space over one disc. We then move on to Mass Effect 2 and 3 and etc, etc. It's spaced over two discs, which means it Ooh, will last a lot longer. Alright, I'm going to need a hand here, guys. Caden, sabotage him. Ashley, start doing that. And I need to get overkill back up. Time to die! Overload. <laughs> well done, Caden. Yeah, I weren't trying to talk to you, Ash. You were just standing eerily close to me, that's all. <laughs> Thought he was actually going to get me then. Wow, Caden is not looking good. I could give him health, but I'd rather <laughs> save my Medigel for myself. As selfish as that sounds. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! <laughs> the garage. The garage of defense. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. Pretty odd looking farmers when you think about it. I mean, it's, I know it's the future and all, but still. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. 
I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. It was coming from inside my head? <laughs> it was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I don't care how far in the future you get. Farmers wear dungarees, and that is my ruling on the matter. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. If there's something you're not telling me... Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You greedy bastard. You weren't running for your life. You were running to check on your merchandise. No, it's not like that. I just, I just knew there were some packages here. Something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. And this is why you bump up your Paragon or Renegade options, because I would not normally have this option. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport, if he's still alive. I have to go. Good luck. And that's why you upgrade either your Paragon or your Renegade, because you would have only got pistol and you would not have got the weapon upgrade. Or vice versa, one of the two. But basically, yeah, if you hadn't of Oh, and this is why we bring Kade along with us. Decryptions. Yeah, but basically, if you hadn't got your Renegade or your Paragon high enough, then you wouldn't have been able to get the second object that you're giving you, and you would have only got the first. And in this game, every single thing counts. Okay, pokey. Uh oh, looks like we found Nihilus. Commander, it's Nihilus. It is, but before we go and get him, I'm just going to quickly run around because I know there is plenty of loot here. We never leave a situation without. Oh, God, did that. Oh, Shepard runs through fire to get his weapons. D you two didn't have to go in the fire as well. Caden, get out, <laughs> get out of the fire, Caden. You crazy? Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't, don't shoot! I'm one of you. I'm human. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down, and Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. There's that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Yeah, why were you behind the crates? But before we mention that, Cole mentioned you. You're Cole's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. 
Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? <laughs> well, it's come back to bite you in the butt now, isn't it? Hand over those grenades. Now. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. Look at that. Just by upgrading our Paragon, we have just got like four items that we wouldn't have got, or two that we probably wouldn't have got before. But anyway, tell us about the attack. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next. Those Geth were swarming over the platform. Thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? <laughs> uh, it's always the way. The weak inherit the earth. <laughs> oh dear. You ditch work. Then you cower back here and do nothing while the Geth butcher everyone else. I don't even have a gun. What was I supposed to do? Run out there and die? I couldn't save them. Nobody could. It, it was horrible. <laughs> as despicable as this guy is, he has a point. There was nothing he could really do about it. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Yeah, well, time flies when you're behind a crate. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I've never seen anything like it before. It... it was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... and it was making this noise, this... this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Hi, right, high explosives. I like the sound of that. Now, even though it was Saren that killed Nihilus, I've got a feeling this is going to look bad on my progress report. There goes my spectre hood out the window. Whoa! I'm glad I've got throw on. <laughs> Freaking lock. Wow. He really did not last that long, did he? Who just... Whoa, someone just sniped me out of nowhere. Who is that guy? How did that guy just snipe me? Oh, great, and I can't even hit him. Alright, Caden, hit him with uh, an overload. Wow. Caden is beastie. I don't remember him being this good last time. <laughs> I found to see how that guy down there shot me, but... Wasting my meta gel, you are. I see Geth. Alright, time to take cover. What do we have? Caden, you can use a throw on that guy. I'm going to hit Marksman. Let's do this. Ooh, good explosive barrel. Damn it, the prime isn't close enough yet. Get in range. There we go. Oh, Geth Destroyer's charging at me. Oh, Jesus. I need to get some cover. My meta gel has. Actually, find your own cover. <laughs> Selfish much. I need to wait until the meta gel was rehealed before I can heal myself. There we go. I was about to say, who are they still shooting at? I didn't see there was still some geth down there. Thank you for that. Right, you're gonna hear that Geth Trooper with that. 
and I... Marksman again. Except for hopefully this time I'm not going to run face to face up against the destroyer and nearly get my... Nearly get my ship pushed in. Yeah, Geth normally tend to do that there, Ashley. Alright, Saren. Let's see where he got to. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Oh, looks like we have got some bombs to defuse. Is it die hard again? Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. It wouldn't be a classic hero game unless you had bombs to defuse. And the thing is, though, I can't help but think who would look at Saren and think, oh, that guy's a stand up guy. There's nothing evil about him at all, with all those tubes hanging off him and those robotic parts and all that sort of stuff. Who looks at Saren and thinks, oh, what a, just a nice guy? possibly be nothing wrong with him ever. Certainly not me. Oh, I really missed my Vanguard charge that you unlock in Mass Effect 2. Come this way, team! Have my back while I defuse this. That's annoying, I can't even change the camera angle around so I can see what's going on. It'd be nice, I can prepare for my attack then. Oh, that's like we've got. Ooh, so like we've got a Geth sniper up there. That is not very good at all. Right, shock trooper. You can send in overload. Marksman. Typical. Gets a shield up just as I start shooting. And I've went and overload my marksman. Throw that guy out of the way. Caden. Oh, well, we've just leveled up, Caden. That's for let you know the good news there. Come on, Ashley, overload that guy. Just barrage that guy with bullets. Yeah, again, Ashley, I wasn't actually trying to chat to you. You just kind of stood eerily close to me while I was spamming the A button. I will revive Caden at some point. Just not quite yet. As long as once you finish shooting everyone in the area, your squad mates get back up anyway, so you don't really have to worry about... Unless you are in a real pickle and you need your squad mates' powers, I won't bother wasting a medjugel gel getting them up. Unless you're obviously in a massive firefight and need the help. See, look at that. Diffused all the bombs and Caden's back up again. But before we move on, I'm going to have a quick looky lure around, see if they've got any loot around here. I know there's... I know there's probably some on this side somewhere. See, and this is the one of those moments where I'm saying, God damn, I missed, char missed the uh, sprint. Look, it just, <laughs> it just takes so long. And now I've got to run all the way back and it takes forever. We should move, Commander. Yeah, well, I am trying to move as fast as possible. I've been saying that for what I was saying about Medigel just now. I actually needed some anyway because my health weren't exactly looking too pretty. <laughs> Come on, Shepard, move. You move so slowly. Nothing back there. All right. Ah, enemies. Whoa! That will speed things up a bit. And it's annoying how you can only charge when you've got enemies in front of you. It's quite irritating. Looks like I've got an enemy. Where do you think you're going, Husk? Take that one out, Caden. Caden, I said take it out, damn it. Do your job. Yeah, you don't want to get too... 
you don't really want to get too close to husks because they tend to explode when you <laughs> when they get too close to you. Sort of like I don't exactly see what exactly is. It's almost like some sort of electronic explosion or something. And these things, as the game goes on, these decryptions, I tend to, I don't know why, I thumb, I like, really thumb up my buttons when they're doing them. It's really simple. All you got to do is just press what you see, and yet somehow I always manage to mess it up. But anyway, I'm going to quickly leg it across here, because I know there's some loot and stuff on the wall that we don't really want to be leaving behind. All the upgrades you get, you want to sort of get as many as you can, because you dish them out not only to yourself, but to your squad as well. And anything you don't use, you can sell. And the credits are always come in handy because then you can buy stuff that you do need, which you can't find around. So as boring as it is, unfortunately, you do have to do the old looting and the scroungering and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I guess before we move the game on, there, as I say, sometimes those cutscenes you see that um, stuff tends to render in quite slowly. That's only because it's such a big game, and I think Mass Effect originally was actually made for PC, and because I'm playing this on Xbox on the console, and it's only built onto one disc, sometimes, I don't know, I don't know if this is exactly the reason, but I think sometimes it just, it renders in really slowly, and, and oh, there's nothing even on this side, what a waste of time, I think that's why, I think that's why sometimes it tends to render in a bit slowly, it's quite irritating, but on Mass Effect 2 and 3 that won't happen, because it's spread over two discs, but anyway, we have finally found that Prothean be Beacon. Normandy, the beacon this is, is secure. amazing. Request immediate Actual event. working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it.